It all started with a small time dream. Hold a conference in a church. With a small budget, could we afford to bring in a Christian celebrity speaker? And with an ear to hear more than just the same canned messages, do we want to? With these two questions, The Mentionables were born. We found the best under the radar Christian apologists that we could find. Writers, podcasters, and bloggers. Their voice was small, but their message was huge. The Mentionables. Small time voices, big time noise. How did you get started in the Mentionables? Uh, Joel reached out to me. He and, I, he and I had been friends for a few years uh, on on uh, on Facebook, um, off and on. Uh, he actually drew a, a comic for me once. Joel, I don't know if you remember it. I'm sure you do. Um, uh, and then we had followed each other's uh, ministry and shared books when we published our books. Um, and uh, when he had this idea for the Mentionables. Um, he reached out to me and asked if I'd like to predict, and I said, of course. Great. And what are kind of some, I don't know, if exp expectations or hopes, desires, wishes for the conference? A million people. <laughs> Lives changed. This whole time I've been watching uh, everybody else arriving for the conference, and uh, there's been some live streams. I thought I'd do a live stream of the journey there. Hopefully, we'll get there in time to set up and get to know each other. That's probably the thing I'm most excited about for the conference, is seeing these people that I've been working side by side, so to speak, and have known for years, and turn Facebook friendships into real friendships. Soon got a web page, 
we've worked on projects together, we put together a podcast. All of these things happen accidentally. I didn't inspire any of these, but they happen. And now here we are on the stage. Something great about being in this field, you meet many minds that don't have that pedigree with them yet. They don't have that reputation in the world. They haven't made it for top or anything. And it's not because they're not great minds, it's just certain circumstances and such. But those minds deserve a mention as well. And it's always great to be in the projects community and find wonderful, brilliant minds worthy of such great mention. Dimensionables Project is the signature project of the Dimensionables team of Christian apologists. Basically, they take a bunch of questions that Christians aren't supposed to be able to answer, and then they answer them. Okay, we are live. I'm Joel Furches. I'm Tyler Vella of the Freed Thinker Podcast. Hey there, my name is Pastor Mark Lambert from Liberty Hill Baptist Church in Moody, Texas. We are the Mentionables. In May, the Non Sequitur Show launched its video titled Questions No Christians Can Answer. After successfully answering Christians' questions they claim can't be answered, we figured we'd give it a shot. So we at Non Sequitur reached out to some of the best atheist content creators here on YouTube. If you hate spoilers, turn off the video now. We can answer them. All of them. Hi, this is Neil Hess. I just wanted to say thank you and it's an honor to be counted among the mentionables here on Facebook and uh, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for all of us. You and me make a perfect team. You and me we make a perfect team. Hey. Let's travel 